So this is Akane the Kunichi and this is my second time playing it. I say playing loosely because I don't particularly want to. Let's go. Let's do it. Now, I'm not gonna point out the graphics. This game feels to me like it was made in Game Maker. You can make good games in Game Maker, but you all have to learn somewhere, somehow. I guess they really like that look at Sprite. And I just, I feel like they really, really like Shinobi. And they did a really good job of trying to emulate Shinobi. As you can see from this intro, there's just a lot wrong. They also like boobs a lot. I mean, everybody does, but... Well... You'll see what I mean. Look at them go. Look at it. Some interesting things. Uh, actually, it reminds me of Shadow Dancers that you can pick your special. There's only three. Unless there's more later. They're not very descriptive. But the arrows indicate to where your kunai storm is going to go. As you can see, there's wall clinging, and if you push down, you'll go down too fast. Uh, anything else doesn't do anything. And you literally press jump and left to the wall, and you don't need to hold left. As you can see, when I hold right, it should look right, and I can throw kunai to the right while I'm looking right. This whole wall jumping thing gets used a lot, but unfortunately, even with the sticky nature of holding onto the walls, the jumps are really, really tricky. What's also tricky is the hitboxes, which you've probably noticed many, many times. The game's not difficult because it's hard, because it actually isn't really hard at all, it's actually really, really easy. You run around, throw an unlimited kunai at stuff, you've got three specials, take out everything on the screen most of the time. It's pretty standard stuff. Although it takes too many hits to kill, but one might just come play. Smash the cat statue. And power up. Power ups last until you die. But there are no lives. Those four hearts, that's all you get. Which is not a lot. Let's be honest, we're all gonna make mistakes playing the game or learning to play a game. And this one is not very forgiving at all. Which again, Shinobi was a hard game, but at least it gave you lives. On the plus side, there are unlimited continues, so it's not like you ever Oh, game over, I gotta go back to the first stage. There's none of that. At least not that I've come across. But the game lacks polish. Which again, I don't know how many people made this game. It could have just been one guy. This could have just been his dream to make a game. Regardless. Still, if it was just one per I think it was two people, I've actually looked at the credits. I saw credits for two people and then uh, the music, and the music is actually royalty free, so it's not like uh, anyone special did the soundtrack for this. It's more that they went to a free library of soundtracks and then uh, this music that you hear in the game, they just picked out of the list of free soundtracks. Although still the music does fit and the music is good. But the game fails to recreate the retro feel that you imagine it was going for. It's also extremely predictable if you've played Shinobi. 
Yeah, that was air clash transition. I don't mind it, honestly. It, it did look a bit odd. But I'm just picking on it because I'm just passing time. So I'm going to make it sound like more of a big deal than it was. I also like the uh, cape effect. The cape doesn't look like it's part of her, unfortunately. But it is quite responsive. Which is a nice touch. Howard doesn't seem to stack as far as I can tell. I really hate those orange ninja guys as well, they become a real pen later. And by later I mean about now. Their shots are really slow. But somehow they just manage to always catch you. I don't need to get that. Chinese dress. Because I've already played this before, I've already got books and stuff. Uh, later on, they're, they're just really to get. This is nowhere near as hard as the Shinobi stage. We have to jump off many, many blocks and the scroll keep screens keep scrolling up. But just like in Shinobi, Shinobi 3 specifically, if you fall into the unseen bottom of the screen, you're dead. Believe it or not, the first time I played this, it took me a while to figure out that you just go to the right of the screen and the stage is done. I don't know, for some reason, like Sonic and Mario, I just expected there to be something to say, okay, stage ends here. And you can smash these cat statues, I can't right now because I don't have a power up. There's so many of them, I, the first time I thought this was a bonus stage, and then... This is where I had the most problem with. Running away from this guy is not difficult at all. In fact, he isn't the difficulty. The difficulty is that this is one of those games where the longer you hold down the jump button, the higher you can jump. This becomes a real problem because that whole wall is not an easy way to get off the wall. that little moonwalk there. I don't think that's intentional. There's no way to get off a wall once you're stuck to it without jumping. And that often meant I was jumping towards the boss. He does not a lot of damage, but there's not a lot of hit recovery either. It's one of those games where you can die really, really quickly if you get stuck between two enemies bouncing back and forward between them. That kind of Castlevania you get knocked back and then you hit something as you get knocked back so you get knocked back again. As far as bosses go, he's not difficult. I do like the actual transition to the boss, that kind of chases you for a little bit. And despite the sticking to the cat statues, which you can destroy, you don't have to actually jump through them. It's just faster to jump over them. I thought that was uh, particularly well done. Um, you can't actually go across the top. I, I, I did wonder if there'd be some bonus or secret if you could get up there, but you can't. I dare say that if you did it, one was as far as I got. I found the game to be a little bit too unbearable to play and Goro's Castle is a very good indicator of why. You 
You don't have to get all three Komodo dresses. But it's one of those bonus things in video games. Like getting coins in Mario, Wings and Sonic. You don't have to do it, but it's just that part of you that sees it and wants it. You know, I even saw that coming. Oh, it's dead. There we go. Game over. And that, that is game over, by the way. That's just, that's it. You're done. Let's try again. The thing I hate about those enemies kunai's, and it might sound really strange, is that the kunai's move so slow that you overcompensate trying to avoid it so much. And that usually doesn't work. You end up just walking into it and you feel really stupid for doing so. And there was a health power up as well. Unlucky. The thing with the Komodo dresses is that they are placed in areas where you can you can miss them. You have to restart the stage again to get them. I haven't beaten this game, but I imagine that the reward for getting all the Komodo dresses is that you get to see the end sequence where she obviously rescues that guy, and she I guess that was a bug, and she wears a Komodo dress. Now that I've adapted to its flaky controls, oh, it spoke too soon, I guess. I was gonna say it's, uh, it's a lot more tolerable. Nope, I definitely spoke too soon. <sighs> because of the whole whole jump to get the maximum height of jump thing they got going on in this. I often undershoot jump or overcompensate and end up turning backwards mid jump to make sure I land correctly. Which is something I haven't had to do in a game for a very long time. Are you are you gonna Yep, no, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, thank you. Alright, so ninja power. Try again. Ninja power. There we go. You may have noticed that they actually take the ninja powers away from you when you get to the boss. At least they certainly did for the first boss fight. Which begs the question, why would you ever save them? Which is why I just used one there. bad guys as well. I'm guessing that the woman at the start is going to be the last boss. And I'm hoping that there's more bad guys than Grey Ninja, Black Ninja and Monk wearing a hat.
again because they go so slow. You... I guess my reflexes are just expecting some kind of bullet health scenario. I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh well, it's my fault. I'm trying to do here, cling to this wall, so I can shoot the rest of these cats, and I'm messing that up horribly. There we go. Oh. Try again. I don't think there's going to be anything here, but just to speed this up, let's just... There we go. Well, I got it refunded, so that's not too bad. I'm sure you don't want to see me just kicking away at cats. anything up here. I don't know if I even need to go up here, but I get the feeling that there's going to be another Kumado up here. <laughs> Admittedly, I am not going to go out of my way to get all of the Kumados. If I happen to get them, then I will be able to do that. why some of these issues are present. Game Maker is a, a wonderful utility, but you are going to be better off if you're looking to make a game, getting some basic C++ knowledge. Now this is interesting, I saw a big hole there at the start and I was like, okay, I guess i got to go down there, so there's going to be a Komodo up here, right? I've got to target this guy's face again. Here we go, making sure that you've actually learned to do the jump now. Oh, I'm supposed to tag his face. Well, this is going to be really, really tedious at best. I think you need some ointment for those joints to take that long swing. Jeez. Maybe all that body armor can be slow. Also, I think, yep, I think this is stopping him from moving. Which is good, because it saves me the whole board dropping. All the bosses use that. We get faster as we take more damage. So even though I'm mocking him now, he is going to reach the stage where he does just swing fast enough to get me before I can leave his sphere of influence because for some reason our character is, I don't know, wearing shoes made of ice. She slides basically. Yep, yeah, there you go, got me again. This is pretty embarrassing because he's now almost dead. And unfortunately I'm one hit away from game over. It's really weird too, there's a very distinct area you have to stand and get him to swing his sword. 
Oh, got it. Well, I guess I was supposed to go down to get all three Komodos. I'll do that another time. Since you get an achievement for that, I'm guessing that's supposed to be the game's replay value because the game isn't very difficult in its design. It's very difficult in its controls and that's the hardest thing to describe because when people watch you play a game with bad controls, it just looks like you're bad at the game. And we all have a genre of game that we, that we are bad at. Nobody wants to admit it, but it's true. We are all bad at some kind of game. But when a game just has bad controls, you can't relay that to somebody watching you play. All you can do is say it. Controls bad, and it doesn't it doesn't really quantify how bad. Like, are they stiff? Are they difficult to maneuver around? Is the gamepad control issues? There's so many unanswered questions when you just said the controls bad. The best way I could sum up the controls in this game, though, are that they are a mixture between stiff and loose. You, you build momentum like Mario, but you can't maneuver like Mario, and it's the strangest paradox. Yes, a kunai can move fast eventually, but you can't jump on bad guys in this game. There is no incentive. Are these going to fall yet? They fall. Okay. There's no incentive for you to move fast. Now, there's a good example. If you just happen to fall down, and not having to get that on your travels, you would have to restart the stage. If I have one right with that, there is no option to restart. All you get is carry on or exit. You have to die. Seems a bit extreme just because I, I missed one of the clothings. Could, I, could there not just be a restart option? I know you can make one in Game Maker, I've done it. If can actually get some health. There's a power up. Oh, there was. There we go. I think that power up's pretty gone. In fact, I think that's the bottom of the stage. That was a pretty unfortunate placement there. Let's just go here, wait for him to turn around. Uh, you. you Maybe you can take a guess that you do have to fight against the water, which is an excellent touch, actually. That's uh, something that I do like. Oh, see that? I made it up and I didn't think that I did. Again, that's because you have to hold the jump button down to get the most out of your jumps. reminds me in many ways, yeah that hit me and down I got. This reminds me in many ways of Cocktop Platform Jumper and that was an awful, awful game. There we go. But the controls in that were unbelievable. Man. It was a PS2 game that was ported to Wii. Like all so many Wii games that were just lazily ported. They decided that you need to shake a stick because but I don't want to think about that game maybe one day I'll show you the horrors of it speaking of showing I haven't really shown much of the ninja powers because I haven't been using them or smart bombs if you're going to call them they actually are so here's, what, here's the only one that I haven't shown Kunai Wall, as I'm going to call it. I don't know if these actually have names, but I will give them names. Now, down there looks tricky. Let's get that Komodo. Since these platforms fall, yep. Okay, and then you just jump back, I guess. Yep, okay. And that's going to push me back, so that's fine. 
Okay, so what's gonna happen here then? There's a waterfall. Is it gonna push me down as a walkling? Actually, it makes no difference whatsoever. Huh. Unexpected. I'm really not a fan of games where you can't hold down to look down. Especially games that have what what essentially amounts to leaps of faith. I want to be able to just have a peek down. You know, if the spikes down there waiting for me, is it safe? Since the water's flowing down, I'm going to assume going down there is death. So there's probably a Kimodo hidden down there. Given the game's design and layout, I wouldn't even be surprised. One of those sentences I never thought I'd hear myself say is that I thought somebody was dead. Now what do we have going on here? Let's do this. Yeah. Oh really? Is that it? Oh dear. It's disappointing. I thought it would smash through all of them. Now let's waste this last one. Yeah, that's just some damage. I'm actually going to take an educated guess because there's nothing in the rest of these. And it's just my desire. It's like we bubble wrap. Yeah, I'm going to give the rest of this skip. Alright, let's check out this guy. I think this is the way to end the stage. And I'm still missing a Komodo. This just oh there it is okay this just seems really out of place hmm ah okay so I'm supposed to go up here oh can I actually I don't want to try that because that might I'd be a unwinnable game over situation there I was tempted to to crouch and let the water flow take me out. But then it's like, well, it might not end the stage, and you might just be s again, really. Okay, this is getting a little bit embarrassing now. There we go. Oh, and I'm out of power ups too. I wasted them all on that kitten wall. No, that is the that is the end of the stage. Looking where that orange ninja is, I think that's a a pathway. Like, I think that's just the invisible wall you can just walk through to get to the other side. Otherwise, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to jump up the, the wall jumping on that tiny ledge sticking out. It's possible. I, it's certainly possible. I wouldn't want to do it. Right, now, this looks really unorthodox, but I'm just going to... Nope, that's definitely game over. That is definitely death. I guess I'm giving the designers a little bit too much credit. I'm expecting them to hide uh, Kimodos in all sorts of obscure places and they're just all out in the open. Doesn't matter anyway, I've missed so many, I'm not going to get the Kimodo ending. And like I said, I don't know if that is what you get, but I don't know, it's just something about it. It just seems like the logical choice. Let's go this way then. Oh. Also that dog sound effect, how stock is that? That's straight out of SoundCloud that. It's only one dog too, it sounds like a whole group of them. I, I liked the water mechanic. I like it even more when it goes away. 
Ah, okay, that's not a... Thankfully, even when you miss Komodos, it's Mario rules, you can just go back and get the one you're missing, you don't have to do a perfect run. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. And again, uh, as I said before, you see that Komodo up there because these platforms fall and don't respawn. That's it, pretty much done. I can never get that Komodo. Is this actually the end way to end the stage? Well, actually, okay, it, it does stop you from uh, getting an unwinnable situation. I think they uh, caught onto that one in player testing. Thankfully. I think for me, the puzzling thing is uh, how am I supposed to end this stage? Like, is that it? I, I missed that one platform because I didn't click that it was gonna drop and that's game over for me now. I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be like that, but it's looking that way. That would be something special. Also I mentioned before about giving the creators too much credit and then they actually hit a Komodo right down here. In fact, is this the way to continue the stage? I get the feeling this is the way I came up, to be honest. Is this all just looped back on? No, boss, okay. Hello. So I had platforms before. Whoa! And stalactite drop. Okay, so. Yeah! That's pretty bad. Why was I just stood there when he was coming to jump on me? You're probably wondering. The water was pushing me there. Simple as that. And since the boss jumps so high, you can't exactly jump move, jump move, and not get hit. So you are going to get hit fighting this boss. See if I can figure it out next time we get there. Because that's pretty bad. From a design point of view, that's just pretty bad. Like, if the water changed directions during the fight, that wouldn't be so... It would be annoying, but it wouldn't be so bad. But you basically... It reminds me of Beetlejuice. Where the first boss... Once he makes it to the left of the screen, you're done. That's it. You're just done. The whole point of the first boss in Beetlejuice is that you're supposed to knock him to the right. And as soon as he touches the right wall, you win. So what you can do, you can run in the room, hit him really fast, push him against the wall, one hit, kill him. But it, your first time playing the game, you're not going to know that. Probably why a lot of people didn't beat that game. I know I certainly didn't. It reminded me of the Adams family and many other video games based on movie tie-ins. That just went horrible. In that the movies were really good for the time. And the games were really horrible. And we would still buy movies still buy games based on movies because we just wanted that movie experience a little bit longer like Total Recall that was an awesome movie when I was a kid and then you've watched the movie you can watch it again when it came out on VHS but you still wanted more of it and the only thing you were gonna get would be the game based on the movie and they were it just became it just became a thing, it just became a joke that games based on movies were always bad. Now we have IGN and we've got GameSpot. And they'll all lie to you, they'll all lie to your face and they'll be like, you know, it's not that bad. Honestly. But they are, they're still bad. It's more rare to find a, a game based on a movie that's actually playable. 
So this is where I got my uh, self stuck before. There we go, all three Komodos, and I've got no hearts to go with it. Brilliant. However, when I was falling before, I noticed there were two cat, lucky cat statues. And they were obviously placed to stand out. Really? So, see if I can hear him smash. Yep, there's one. There's the other. Playing about that much need health, and this power up is going to be extremely useful until I get hit. Why it disappears when I get hit is a mystery to all. I'm actually done on this part of the stage if we recall correctly, that's the only two things over there. So I need to go this way. Come to think of it, just like the last time, I could actually skip the whole stage and just go straight to the boss if I die. I'd go back for the power up. That was actually useful. Hey, Tanuki. Yeah, there's the massive jump. Stalactites. And like it. And wow, what a jump. Just made that. Yep, do it. Oh, there goes my power up. There goes my power up. Jumps cover so much distance. Like seriously, look at that. Look at this. Oh. 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 oh it stopped. I was hoping she'd just get drifted out, just to make it even sadder. Now I'm not gonna bother with the Komodos. I'm gonna go straight to the boss. I might get the power up and then go straight to the boss. So I can actually jump and dodge. Thank goodness for that. Alright, no one wants to see me take 20 odd attempts at a boss, so let's hope I can do this in one go. Now that I've got full health. That power would have been useful, but aside from that. Dodged a bullet there. And again. Oh no way, this boss actually reminds me of uh, I can't remember right now. Some old obscure me game where you played as two elephants. AJ's Adventure, that's it. I'm gonna have to play through that to help with that reference there. But the first boss was an elephant. And he made stalactites fall from the ceiling. Just like this. And he would jump at you too. Creepy. Well that's the Tanuki raccoon done. Did she just get dragged away? Well, I guess there's no escaping fate. Not when he collars you like that, jeez. I actually prefer my game short, I'm going to be honest. I don't, want a, I don't want a game to drag on for too long. Now this is not interesting, this is just annoying. No. We already have a character with slippy feet. Let's just throw snow into the mix. I think it's pretty clear now if it wasn't before. 
there are no more bad guys. All the bad guys you see on stage one, that's it. That's that's all our budget could allow for. You know, for a two-man team, I get the feeling one of them is the artist. It's still an impressive feat. It certainly leaves a lot to be desired. Yes, that was incredibly cheap. Thank you. And you know, that's just the first part of the stage. I'm already one hit from game over. Let me just get to those cats. The reason you see me crouch for the dogs is because when you stand and throw a kunai, it actually misses the dogs. Also, that incredible cheap you slide on the ice so we make bad guys spawn. And then you thought you'd do it again. Real clever guys, real clever. Although I didn't go careening into them this time, so that's an improvement on my end. Yes, that is exactly how I feel, Akune. Oh, dog! So I'm going to save the other two for later and I'm just wondering if there's going to be another situation where you've got the orange ninjas just hovering on a platform. It, 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 it's got to be a thing. When you make a really difficult to control platformer that you then screw it up even more and you masquerade it as challenge. Like, yeah, this game was really hard later. Oh, we pulled out all the stops to make it difficult. It's like, yeah, you managed that when you uh, screwed up the control scheme. I'm reminded of... Oh. The dog. That's, that's the name of the game, by the way. And uh, they tried emulating uh, the original Mario Brothers, the one where you go through the pipes and stuff, not the actual Super Mario Brothers, but the original, where you go through the pipes and you, you jump on uh, the Goombas and stuff. And it's just uh, one room, as opposed to, you know, the, the whole Mario franchise, which is what it sounds like you just described. It's not, I swear. Um, And they, they made the main character just collide on the ground. Mario Brothers, a game known for its great control. And you've tried to emulate it. And you ruined the worst thing about it. Which is its controls. Now this game isn't trying to emulate Mario Brothers. The controls do leave a lot to be desired. Also, if you look close enough, you can actually see that they didn't. They didn't even try. You notice the white outline is uh, sporadically disappearing when I throw those kunai. Did you really use that trick again? This is just going to keep happening. 
listening, is it? So instead of more bad guy variety, we just hit that control C, control V, and we went to town, lads. That's what we did. Yep. No, the only reason why I don't walk around is continues to shoot in is my own willpower. For all intents and purposes, this could just be a run and gun game. You never run out of kunai. Your special abilities are taken away at bosses. Which is mind boggling to me, to be honest. Most of us, you know, save them for bosses. Anyone who's played Shinobi is probably thinking that these power-ups last you and that you should save them. But no. Also, if this ends the stage, it does. So here's a question. What would I do if I messed that up? Those platforms don't come back. So would that just be suicide? Is, is that what we're going for as level design for these next three levels? Is that, zip, you, you got to do it in one take. How about you suck? Certainly hope not. We shall see what transpires. I really, I'm, I'm going to say it, the music is great. The music is really great. But it wasn't written for this game. And that doesn't detract from it. It's just the fact that... I'm dead. Am I dead? Is it game over? Ah! Yep, it's game over. So... <laughs> I hope that doesn't constitute the next couple levels. Well, newsflash it does. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. So here we go ladies and gentlemen, you now have to do this perfect. Your first time playing through this game? Yep, do it perfect. What are you, some kind of uh, wuss or something? You can't just do multiple jumps perfectly? Get out of here. This is, this is a real game. You know that Call of Duty nonsense. I don't know why they did this. Try that again. What I'm trying to do is because of the ice, I'm trying to make it so that I can land uh, straight on it rather than just slipping. And I did it. I have to just slip. This game would have been helped immensely if they had just spent some of their time on the control. I really don't have a problem with these puzzles. But what I have a huge problem with is when the difficulty isn't in the puzzle itself, but in navigating the puzzle because the controls are a mess. Okay, that was just cheap. And that's cost me my power up. Die stock dogs that all look and sound alike. Such is my rage. Oh, yeah, it hasn't really dawned on me till now, but there's not that many uh, health and recovery pickups, are there? Come to think about it. Okay. Do it your way again. I thought I could speed it up a little bit. Hey, wait a minute, it's just dawned on me. There's ice everywhere, so I reckon the last stage is going to take place in Volcano Castle. You know, if you're going to make a game, it's mandatory. you got to make it by numbers. Paint by numbers. you got to have ice stage, fire stage, water stage. Oh, that other stage with water stage. That's going to hit me. 
you just gotta do it. For your first game, you gotta do it. Even if it's purely cheese. It's mandatory. How did he die? I don't remember killing him, but he's clearly dead. Yep, not even gonna bother. See ya. stage isn't it? Well it's the last one in the uh, ice world. So I should be able to go straight to the boss and completely ignore the rest of the stage. So let's see if I can figure out which way is to the boss and I'll just do that. Okay well there's a Komodo. So this going down must be the stage. Oops. And going up must be straight to the boss. Yeah, this looks, looks like a boss layout. Really, guys? Really? No comments at this point. Just do this. Jeez. I feel kind of bad, too, because they, they clearly just ran out of material. You know, creative, creative material. So, okay, so we got, we got two ninjas that pop up, yep. We got orange ninjas that throw kunai at you, yep. We got dogs, oh, that's a, that's a good one. We got monks that throw the hats, oh yeah, like Kung Lao now we're talking. What else we got? I got boss. That's all I got. And I, I really hate to say it, but the actual bosses themselves, they, they could have just recycled them, you know, that whole cheap boss demotion thing. It's like, oh, okay, these bosses are regular monsters now. You know, they could have done that. Oh, I, all this for a Komodo? Yeah, no. How about no? Can't do it, coach. Can't do it, coach. Well, that wasn't game over, so. Oh, but it almost was, as it turns out. Jeez. I have a feeling that the last stage is just going to be the orange ninjas. Green ones don't do anything, and the orange ones can pop up anywhere. It, it would make more sense. Now this is taking a long time to get to the boss, which uh, I'm not a fan of. Here we go. Here's the boss. Because there's a good chance I'm going to die while I figure out what this whole boss's thing is. Holy shit! Dalsim, man, uh, a little bit different there. Whoa! Really? <laughs> really? Is this it? Alright. Some Arkanoid action going on. Cool. Andros from Star Fox has returned. Oh, it's giving me an evil eye. Oh, I'm stuck. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I ran into that. He's a, he's a little bit trickier than the other bosses have faced so far. If only because those kunai track. Which is fine, as of and in itself. But you are probably already close to a wall when they'll start tracking. Reminds me of a Metal Slug boss. But... That's, that's pretty good boss, actually. Certainly better than the, the first stage Oni boss. He was a little bit lazy, admittedly. Because the second, the second boss was just the first boss, again, with the stalactite effect added. So, looks like they stepped it up a little bit. So which way is he going to move, left or right? Okay. To the right. Okay. To the left. To the right. Let's go 
gonna e blam it, yep. See when you know the the daggers are coming, you can prepare for them. I mean, of course you can, you know they're coming. But in games, in any game where you've got stuff like that, the worst thing you can do is just panic and run to a wall. Because then you end up just jumping. And that just doesn't end well for you. Metal Slug 3 specifically had a boss like that. And I still die on that boss to this day. Um, really? I think um, if I'd have gone through the stage, I could have picked up a power up. A triple shot, just this up a little bit. And again, you know, let us, let us use our special abilities on bosses. Nobody's going to think, oh yeah, I'm going to use my ultimate weapon of ultimateness on a couple of moves. Well, no point in playing about it now, because I'll get this made, so let's just stay alive. Difficult, <laughs> admittedly. Overall, I actually like this boss. Uh, one of the better bosses. Blink away. There we go. One of the interesting things is that blink effects don't usually show up on recordings very well in any game, even all the original NES games. Like Super Pitfall, you, your character blinks a lot, but it doesn't show up when you actually record it. Yes, there we go. Called it Lava, Lava Castle. Again, I've never beaten this game before, but game designed by Nuclears. Ice stage, water stage. Oh, and the first stage was Grass stage. In fact, I think it was called Grasslands. <laughs> I'm just looking at those Komodos and I'm just thinking that is just so much not going to happen. Oh. oh, they're not instant death. Okay. I'll see ya. I was really afraid of those spikes. Like, oh, those, those are spikes. Oh my years, Sonic and Mario have taught me those are instant death. So I'm actually quite really, I'll give him props for that. Overall, not the worst game. If you can adapt to its controls, which is asking a lot. It really is. Begs the question, is lava lethal then? I mean, I know that it is IRL, but is it gonna be the death of me here? Also, that looks really conspicuous, but I'm not even going to waste my time because the only thing down there is probably a Komodo. Since I've very much given up on collecting those, uh, it seems kind of fruitless to just go get that one. And again, the music is really cast. Eat it. Are you... okay. I was expecting that to be really cool, and it just wasn't at all. Damn it, game. I'm trying to make you look better than you actually are. You're not even helping. Speaking of not helping, uh, what do you suppose the solution to this is? So I can tell you what my solution is, and that's just to skip it. That's we gonna skip. Why don't I just skip these guys while I'm at it? Backfired a little bit, but I don't think I need to go back, so just move forward. Now, I've not beaten this game. Oh, nasty! Right in the lava. I get the feeling that at least one of these three stages, you're gonna have the lava chasing up the screen. And honestly, this looks like it would have been the perfect place for it. 
little section here because of the way it's laid out. Missed opportunity there, fellas. Ooh, right on the spikes. I know there's no blood in this game, but I like to imagine more just on this stage specifically just having the most horrific deaths. Look at that, right into the spike. And they came up as he landed. Now he's just gonna be really annoying because that platform is so tiny. Well, if you didn't get me, the spikes did, so... And we're done. Dragged by her cape. To the next stage. Like, just look at that scene there. Impaled, thrown in lava. This game is not E for everybody, folks. This game is fucking brutal. I love it. Well, let's have a leap of earth then, jeez. What are my options? And you repeated that before word. Of all things, really. Okay, well, I'm just messing this up, probably. At this point, I'm just abusing invincibility frames. Die. Get in. More spikes, yeah. I'll pass. You know, I've come to think of it, this third ability is actually the best. So it goes everywhere. Yeah, I was, uh, was really short on time, thanks for that, guys. Wait, that... That... That's all that was there? I could've saved half my health? Can I let do this? Can.
fact that this is the last world and that stage was really hard is fitting, but it was it just took way too long to finish that. Okay, so there's the mod so that means I'm not going this way. I'm just gonna go straight to the box. Which thankfully seems pretty straightforward to reach. Without getting hit by the green guys, preferably. But now that I know how I'm actually supposed to just go and hit the boss rather than wait for something, hopefully I can do a little bit faster. I'm sure there'll be a power up up there with all the Komodos, but I'm I'm ready to finish this game. I'm not in the mood to up the game. I don't mind games that have added content that let you understand it, but only if the fake experience is fun. This hasn't been a It's a shame too because there are no more shinobi games. Seeing a game in that style, I was, I didn't know what to expect, but I certainly welcomed it. I don't think the Shinobi games are done. I don't think the gameplay is a tired mechanic. I think you could do more with it. Is she going to transform? She's not. That's just disappointing. The whole wall disappears all. There's not going to be a next time. <laughs> 